Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Blade and Sorcery video. And in today's video, I wanted to do something special. I wanted to say a fond farewell to all the best mods that gave us the most fun out of U7 as we prepare for the inevitable U8 to come out. So thanks for joining me today, and let's take a look at 10 mods from U7 and give them a fond farewell. Cheers. Straighten this chair, this chair's bothering me. Just look how cool this map is. You know, you got like a big statue in the center. There's a spike pit that you could just throw the NPCs on. And look, come over here, follow me. If we look down here, there's a whole nother section of the level down there. Look, and you got like ropes too. So let's say, you know, you, you did all your battle stuff and you're like, oh man, I did all my battle stuff. You can battle down here. So I can battle down here and it's a whole different ball game. And then when I'm done, you know, if I want to be kind of like a cool guy, I can just climb back on this rope. You know, you just climb the rope all the way back to the top. Now here's what's cool about being on this rope is, you know, I could climb up here like this and there's an NPC right there. Here we go. You could reach over, grab their leg and just Assassin's Creed them out. <laughs> yes. This next mod gives me great sadness to say goodbye to it. And that is gonna be the Mythical Weapons mod. I've had some great times and some of my favorite moments came out of this one. And please, come back. Here it is. Oh, Mythical Weapons Pack. I love you so much. You know, you gave me the silver light. Ah, you're so beautiful and perfect. I just love this sword. I love this whole pack. Look at this one, the Holy Leaven Blade. Ah, oh, you press the action button, electricity shoots out of it, and if I hit an NPC, they explode. Oh man, I'm gonna miss this so much. <sighs> this next mod is overlooked, but it's probably in everyone's book, and that is more categories. Without more categories, we wouldn't have access to a ton of other mods, and it makes looking for things in our book so much easier to find things. You don't have to look through a laundry list of, of mods. You can just open your book and there it is. So cheers to you, more categories. Oh yes, the more categories one. Just look how perfectly this works. You know, I, if I want a dagger, there's my daggers. Swords, swords. I, I can look at my bone holsters for all my armor. I can see all my pistols right here. Without this mod, I think we would be lost. Like, we wouldn't even know where to go. I can even get the, oh, a whole bunch of different lightsabers. So, the More Categories mod is a true lifesaver. People don't talk about it. I'm sure you've downloaded it. But without More Categories, we would just have, oh, my God. I don't even remember. Remember, what was the name of that other thing? It was, like, a giant white matrix room. I don't remember the name of it. But I remember it being weird, like you would load into like a giant matrix room and choose like four weapons you wanted. It was the construct. That's what's called the construct. Yeah, there was a construct. And basically, you go in there. It's the matrix room. You choose from like a whole bunch of these, right? That You see this thing? All of your weapons that you've downloaded, your mods, would all be on like 10 of those. And God help you if you didn't have a mod that was like interchangeable. But you would choose those ones and then you step through a portal back into your home... And that's what you did. So without, you know, things like more categories and the changing over of mods, whew, we would still be in the dark ages. So let's hear it for more categories. Next up is a mod called Piercing Everything. And the Piercing Everything mod simply just lets you take any dagger or whatever you're going to do and just kind of stick people into whatever object or stick any object to any type of wall of your choosing. I think without Piercing Everything, the game misses out on a lot of things because you want to be able to stick people to walls, but in the vanilla script of this game, it barely lets you do that. So please, piercing everything, somehow find your way into U8. Here it is. Ah, yes, the piercing everything mod. You know, you could just stab your sword into a brick wall if you wanted or into solid stone. It's great. And let's say you have one of these pesky NPCs. You know, you go ahead and grab them, much like you do, smush up against this wall, uh, I like to abuse slow-mo for this one, and we just... hi -ya! Look at that. Now, this is exactly what you want in a sword fighting game. Pierce the son of a bitch against the wall with your sword, so their friends are like, Oh my god, what did you do to my friend? I mean, that's probably what she would say. Ugh! If she could speak 
And that's a different mod entirely. But, yeah, you know, look, it's pierced right in here. And I can just be like, yoink. <laughs> oh. On deck now is the infamous bone holster mod and we all know that this mod laid the groundwork for other mods to come like the dreaded star wars mod and whatnot but without the bone holster one we wouldn't have half of some of the stuff we're gonna have so it really doesn't need much explanation i'll just show you a couple of things what it is but everyone let's give a fond farewell to bone holsters you have served us quite well friend thank you Look at all this armor waves that come with bone holsters. Let's go ahead and select some random armor and see what it generates for us. Look, you can hear them coming from a mile away. What do you got, like one grieve on? A grieve and a gauntlet, yeah, yeah. Nice, good choice of armor. <laughs> Idiot. Man, I cannot wait for the U8 version of this, but this was definitely a good start. Oh man, we really have been spoiled with all these amazing mods. Let's hope U8 is everything it's cracked up to be. Otherwise, we're going to be really sad, but I don't think that's the case. Hang on a sec. Ah, yes, yes, yes. What's up next, you say? Good question. And to all of you fellow sadists out there, one of my favorite mods is Dark Chains. And man, I've had some real fun with this one is... Let's just take another look at Dark Chains and give it the appreciation it deserves. Ah, yes. A simple NPC, and I have no weapons. However, I have Dark ch Okay. Ah, yes. A simple NPC, and I have no weapons. But wait! I have Dark Chains, and with Dark Chains, we can do some pretty horrid stuff, you know? Hold them in the air, or... While they're being choked out, you can manipulate their arms and legs. And this is truly where the evil of this mod comes in, you know. Use your imagination. But you can do some horrible stuff. We might have to censor it. Up next, we have the Modular Weapons Pack and the Medieval Mega Pack. And when you combine those two, you can create whatever type of weapon concoction that you can dream of. It's really fun. I didn't use it too much because I kind of opted for like mythical weapons and whatnot, but if you want to create some standard whatever hoogabaloo, the modular weapons and the medieval mega pack is for you. Let's take a look. Oh yes, the medieval mega pack and modular pack. So with this medieval mega pack, look at all this cool stuff it gives us. If I go to blade, I have a whole bunch of these custom made blades. And they look fantastic. Look at that shine on it. Mm -mm -mm. That's the blade. You know, I have access to all these new shields. Oh, man. And that looks so cool. You know, boom. Imagine hitting someone in the throat with that. Mm. But there's also the modular version of this one. And let's show you that. Uh, so let's start again with um, maybe a, a guard. Start with a guard. Something that looks really funky. Yeah, like this. Take that, look, okay, so let's put that guard down there. And then we need to spawn a handle. So let's spawn this one, the, Z the Zweihander. There we go. So look, now I have the handle and I have this part here. So you can even use like a thwonk stick, but let's put something else on here. Okay, so um, let's go back to blades. Can I put like this thing on here? It's like the Morningstar head. <laughs> Look how terrible this weapon is. Good. Up next is my arch nemesis, the skeletons. Now, this could be considered part of bone holsters, but I want to make it entirely separate because it's my video and I'm going to do that. But skeletons is another mod that I think really changed the entire landscape of U7. And I know with U8, we're getting armor and whatnot, but I want to see some other custom NPCs that you amazing modders are able to make. So, skeletons, please, somehow find your way into U8 or evolve, become something more, because I want to destroy any type of monster out there. Let's take a look at skeletons and give it up for some skeletons. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you're going to know that I love killing these damn skeletons because they break to pieces when they lose. 
Thwack! <laughs> it's over for you, stupid skeleton. And these things are just cool looking, you know. Well modeled, well textured, and of course they have animations. Yeah! So it's come to that part in the video where everyone's probably wondering, hey, how come we haven't spoken about Star Wars yet? And it's not because I hate Star Wars, it's just because it's overplayed. What's that? Okay, all right, all right, I understand. You're right. Without the Outer Rim and the subsequent mods that followed it, U7 wouldn't have been as popular. I think a lot of people came to Blade and Sorcery because they saw lightsabers flying around and stormtroopers' arms getting cut off and whatnot. So, you're right, that's my fault. The next mod that we want to say a fond farewell to, and you want to know what? I hope it comes back to U8 because Star Wars is fun is the Outer Rim mod and the subsequent mods that come with it. So, to you, Outer Rim mod, let's take one final look before we say a fun... <sighs> farewell. Oh, the Outer Rim. You have brought so much to this game. You bring stormtroopers and levels and lightsabers, and these lightsabers are so super fatal, you know? So much that it makes my graphics card explode, but... Oh, yes. Nope. Yeah. And this is what I would mean about bone holsters. It set the way forward for this as well, too. Giving us better access. When Outer Rim first came out, it was just kind of like traditional NPCs. And there was no stormtroopers. Everyone wanted stormtroopers. Everyone wanted to fight Kylo Ren for real. And that's what you can do now. And when they fire at you, you can use the other mod. I think it was the Knight's Training mod to deflect these blaster bolts. Because it used to be impossible to do that. But now it, like the bolts like bend around the thing. So it makes it a, like much easier. You can still get shot. But um, you can deflect these bolts back at them. I feel like a badass. Even in slow-mo, you can be like, what's going on? I'm the ultimate Jedi. You're, you got nothing. And they also gave you some force powers, you know, so you can go ahead and... On the ground. Hey, 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 I said on the ground with you. That's for you, push. And when you combine all these mods together, like dark chains, force push, and the ability to block things... You truly feel like a Jedi, and that's what was really the most badass thing about this. Good times. Good times. Well, up next, I feel we should talk about another map. And that map is probably near and dear to a lot of y'all, and that is the Canyon of Thorns map. Now, this one is relatively new, or at least it got a couple of updates here and there. But the Canyon of Thorns is a pretty large map with a whole bunch of different areas and spiky things. And it looks really cool. And there's a lot of great spawns on there. So, if the Canyon of Thorns does not return for you 8 let's all say it together. Fond farewell to Canyon of Thorns. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The Canyon of Thorns. This is a beautifully designed map. You got amazing waterfall and some water down there. You got some punji sticks to throw the NPCs on. And you have a multitude of areas to fight these guys on. Look, I could go down here. There's a whole like bridge section. And I think that's like a, a tomb. And, and, and. Let me show you my favorite thing up there. I haven't mastered doing it yet, so I don't want to even, even attempt it in a video because I look like a dumbass trying to do it. Let me just walk over there. Please hold. <laughs> okay, imagine this. Imagine an NPC is like fighting you like right here and you're like, whoop you know, blade and sorcery stuff. And then you have to use slow-mo, right? But you jump like this and grab and kick at the same time to knock them down. Like... Do that in, in real mode without slow-mo. So new, new challenge video before U8 comes out. Uh, I, whatever, do it. But I just think that'd be so cool. I keep running out. A nice quick little fill up for these next couple of ones, you know. There we go. Cheers. Now this next one. Hold on a second. Now this next one is considered a map. However, you're allowed to use what's in the map outside of the map. And let me explain. That is the cultist camp map. 
This one's pretty cool because at least to me, this was the first time that custom NPCs came to the game. I think it was originally from U6 and got ported whoop, right over to U7. But what I really liked about it was that there was cultists. You know, they had head armor, they looked cool, but moreover, it introduced demons to the game. And you could fight like a demon boss overlord and he was really hard to kill and he was like eight feet tall or, or higher and just chopping him up just felt so good. But yeah, the next one is the cult camp with all that stuff I just said. <laughs> now take a look at this demon right here. It's like the demon boss. He has his own weapon, his own custom dagger. He's pretty huge. And look, 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 if I hit him, normally see this sword kind of like one hit kills anything. This thing is still alive. Ah! Whenever you think you've killed it, you have it. So you really got to put in the work against this thing. Ah, uh, well, well, it's come to that time. We've reached the end of the list and I have one more thing to give props to. And we didn't get enough of it in the game. And that's more Zelda stuff, you know? I know we had boomerangs and hook shots and whatnot we also got the master sword and hillian shield and that, that's that's what it is i'm burying the lead right here hang on uh, the master sword and shield is like the ultimate weapon set you know because you're you're link now you have the master sword so what i really wanted was to fight like bokoblins and i really wanted to see a ganondorf npc come in like we got darth vader and the, the stupid Star Wars thing, and I couldn't get Ganon or Ganondorf. So I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed, but at least I got to wield around the Master Sword like I was a kid. You know, I have a replica one, but I know I'm digressing and rambling right now. So let's just cut the short. I don't, I don't remember what's in this drink. So once again, thank you, Hillian Sword and Shield, and uh, let's take a look at it, and please give us a gun and mod. All right. The Triforce will never be yours, Ganondorf. Get over here. You're a terrible Ganondorf. Did you just break your neck? You're okay, right? Goodbye, my friend. You served me well. And I will see you in another update. Ah. Well, we've done it, everyone. Thank you for watching this one, and... Tell me some of your favorite mods that I probably missed because I know everyone likes their own stuff and probably people want to see pew pew some revolvers and whatnot. But this was my list and I think these are the most popular ones. But let's say a fond farewell to all of these mods and a fond farewell to all your favorite ones. And let's hope and pray that these mods make it into you aid. And a special shout out to all you wonderful modders out there. I'm gonna do the best I can to put all the links in the description with your name and your mod title on, on the, on the splash screen, you know, this way nothing gets overlooked because it's you. You are the ones that make, what the? Uh, it's you, you are the ones that make this game truly special. Well, thank you for stopping by. Like, share, subscribe, YouTube, you know, you know the drill, whatever. I'm Rob with Downloadable Content. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.